China's economy looks like it's springing back, but the country's stock market is stuck near four-year lows. Joining me now, Andrew Swan with BlackRock. Andrew, thanks for being with me. You're welcome. You're overweight on China equities going into 2013. The Shanghai index is in a miserable spot. So what's giving you the optimism? I think what we, where we have optimism is around two areas. One is the economy seems to be stabilizing uh, and in some areas recovering. Uh, financial conditions are improving. Uh, monetary policy is looser than what it has been for some time. And that generally leads to an improvement in growth. So our outlook for 2013 is for stable or slightly higher growth than perhaps what we've seen this year. And when you combine that with where valuations are right now, for us it's a, it's a compelling opportunity. But breaking it down into the Shanghai index, for example, it doesn't seem like the index, very retail driven as well in terms of investors, is really backed by what's happening in the fundamentals of the economy. So how can you make money out of that? Uh, it's, uh, well, hopefully, you know, in, a, in our view of the world, this is exactly how you make money, by taking an opposite view to what the retail investors are doing in, in China, which is really where the market, why the market is low. Things like the, the premium, or the, in this case, discount, between stocks which are listed on both exchanges in Shanghai and in Hong Kong is getting close to an historical low now. So we, we do believe that um, if the economy does continue on its current path of stability and perhaps some growth, investors will start to come back domestically in 2013. Give me some example of companies that you're talking about, that premium between Hong Kong and Shanghai, where you'd be invested. Uh, we do like non-bank financials um, within the economy. I think it's going to be a, a beneficiary of reform, and that's the big issue I think investors domestically are also have some uncertainty around is financial market reform, how that's going to proceed, and other reforms the economy needs. So I think that's one area we are, we are focused on. There has been a lot of talk about reform all the way up to the top of the party, but as you say, getting into financial market reform. Are you really hopeful that we're going to see some changes in the coming year? What are you really watching out for? Look, it's going to be a slow process. and China does things at its own time frame uh, and they tend to be long-term thinking. So we're not expecting major changes overnight. But we have seen progress, which the market perhaps is not focused on this year. We did see some asymmetric rate cuts uh, in the middle of the year. We have seen the corporate bond market really starting to grow in, in China this year. It's up about 90%. So there are other ways of, um, to attract capital. And what we think will happen in 2013 is just more and more of those avenues coming, coming up within the market. So putting it into sort of the Asia pie as a whole, China obviously a very big part of Asia. But how do you divide your investments in Asia? How much uh, is China oriented? Well, China is, in terms of the economy, firstly, it's about half of the regional economy. So, yes, it does matter for the region. Uh, there are obviously domestic drivers as well around Asia, uh, which remain resilient and attractive. But China does matter across the region. Uh, so we have exposure to China directly, through mostly through the Hong Kong listed stocks. Uh, and we have China exposure indirectly in other markets. And, uh, you know, one part of the Asia, which we think is actually looking quite interesting on a sort of 12-month view, is petrochemical stocks, which we, you do have very low inventories and potentially demand starting to recover uh, into 2013. Okay, a final note, back to China stocks. We've seen very sluggish earnings out of China. And again, you're overweight on China going into 2013. You think the earnings situation's going to change? Look, you've got to remember the last two years we've had a deceleration in growth and whenever the growth is decelerating, corporate profitability comes under pressure. Uh, we've also had a very significant inventory problem in, in China this year as corporates kept building products in anticipation of recovery which never really emerged through the course of the year. So corporate, there's very good reasons why corporate profitability has been under pressure. Our view is the economy will start to stabilise and perhaps expand. Some of these inventory issues will be dealt with, which will create an environment for a profit recovery. And we're starting to see early signs of that at the moment. Uh, but, you know, 2013 could be the first year we see positive surprises on earnings, uh, not just in China, but across the region, first time in the last two or three years. Very positive, optimistic. Andrew Swan, thanks very much for your time today. You're welcome.